What's going on? We are changing out a 240 breaker and outlet. Let's get started. So the reason I'm changing this outlet out is right now I have got a 50 amp, you know, set up for a welder, things like that. Well, I've picked up a 240 volt heater uh, and it, it needs a 30 amp plug. So what I could do is I could change out that outlet for a 30 amp outlet, plug my heater in, probably never have a problem. However, there's no overload protection inside the heater. So what I'm scared of is if I turn this thing on, you know, a couple hours before I was gonna come work in the shop, is that what you could, what you could have happen is uh, something malfunction inside that heater, which could then melt that 30 amp plug before that breaker ever popped off. So it, it could be a fire hazard. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swap out the outlet itself for the 30 amp, as well as the breaker. Pretty simple process, let's get into it. So the first thing we're gonna do is check this outlet, make sure it's got power, make sure everything's working like it should. I've got my multimeter set to AC voltage. We've got the leads. If we go to these two, we should see 240, and there we see it, 244, 245. So basically, you've just got the 120 on each of these. Put them together, you got the 240. If we go from each of these leads to a ground, you'll see 120. Same thing. If we go this direction, we'll see 120. So this outlet's working like it should. So now we need to isolate this outlet in our breaker box to figure out which one it is. Here we've got our breaker box. Simply remove the cover. We've just actually got four screws that take that cover off. Now, when we're looking at our breaker panel, what we've see, we've, this is a 100 amp service. We've got 100 amp coming in. You can see these two wires, that's our power feeding this box. Now, all of these are gonna be hot, so this thing is on. So if you're not familiar with breaker panels and how they work, this is absolutely not something you should do. Just call an electrician, it's not worth it. So what we have is our whole breaker panel. We've got breakers for all our lights, all our 110 outlets. You see a lot of these smaller ones. That's what those are. I've actually got two 240 plugs in the shop. So these big ones that have uh, the two breakers connected, 50 amp breakers on each of these, those are my 240 plugs. Now, I don't really know which one is which, so I need to figure that out. Now I've got another 240 here, just a 20 amp. This is actually for the lift. So we're gonna focus on these two. I need to figure out which one is for the outlet that I wanna swap out. Now the easiest way to do this is I'm just gonna come right here. And I'm gonna turn that one off. Then we're gonna go back to our outlet and see if we've got power at the outlet still. So now we've got our breaker off. We're gonna do the same thing we did before with our leads. I'm gonna go in here and I'm not getting a reading. So that tells me that that is the correct breaker for this outlet. So again, I can jump up here to the ground and just double check that I'm not getting the 120 across the, the two main prongs. We're not getting the 240, so I know that breaker is associated with this outlet. So now we're back at the breaker panel. Here's our breaker that we turned off for that 240 plug. So we can see it's in the off position. Now once again, I can take my multimeter and I can go across both of the wires coming out of that breaker and I see I've got nothing there. Now, if this was on, we kick it back on and I come across both these leads you can see there is our 240 again so that's back on that's how I know it's hot now anytime you're gonna do work in a breaker panel it's always best just to turn the whole thing off 
So what I would do is I'll just come right here, turn my main power off before I work on any of this. Just makes it safer. You know, this is a detached shop, so I could also go to the breaker panel in the house and just kill the power coming out to the shop altogether. Now, when we're looking in the breaker panel, we've got all our power wires, of course, but then this center here, this is gonna be hot as well. You've got bars on each side. These are your ground or neutral, uh, kind of depending on your setup, how new uh, your box is, everything like that. So what we can do to check if the whole box is hot. So when we kill this, it should kill the entire box. If we're not sure, once again, take our meter. I can actually touch it to one of those. And then I can come over to my ground and I can see 120. So that tells me that's hot. This box is still hot. We haven't killed the power to it. We need to go back and do that. Now I've got a separate light over here, battery powered light. So when I kill this breaker, it's gonna kill all my lights in here. So we've got power killed to this whole breaker box now. Once again, to verify, I'm gonna get my meter back out. And to check if the whole box is dead, I just wanna put my leads across those spades and back to my ground neutral bar and I can see I've got nothing in this box. We're working on this one, so once again, I'm gonna just double check it. You can never be too safe when you're doing electrical. We can see we've got no power there. So now we're ready to remove our two wires and get our breaker out to swap it out for our 30. Now these are pretty simple setups. Once again, got power killed to this. All I need to do is come right here and remove, there's a screw that holds my wire in. I'm just gonna loosen this on both of them to get our wires out of our breaker. Now once we get those wires removed, all you gotta do is pull them out of the breaker itself. And once again, you gotta be real careful I've got the power off, so I'm not too worried about it, but you still gotta be careful working in a breaker box. Got both wires removed. Now we can get this breaker out of here. Now these new style breakers are super easy. They basically just snap in. So we've got our wires out. We can get a screwdriver on this side, push up on it. It'll snap it out. It basically hinges on that one side, just pops out of there. Now we've got our new 30 amp breaker, just goes in there the same way. Put it in on the bottom. It just rocks one direction, snaps in there. That's all it takes. Now I'm gonna go back and put my wires back in. Now it doesn't matter which one goes where. I'm just gonna put it back exactly how it was black there on the bottom tighten our screw down now of course when you're putting these back in you want to make sure that you get the wire in as far as you can make sure it's not touching anything else in that box snug it up make sure it's not coming out of there Same thing for our other wire. Now our breaker is in. Now with our breaker back in, we can come back, turn our power on. Now before we move on over and get that outlet swapped out, I wanna make sure that my breaker works. I've got it off now. If I flip that over to on, once again, get our meter out across our two leads. There's our 240, 245, just like we had before. Tells me we're good. 
come back, turn it off. Make sure you turn it off because we're gonna go back and work on that outlet. So we want that outlet to be dead. Now we're ready to swap out this 50 amp outlet for our 30 amp. Now I've got my breaker off. I know there's no power here, but I'm gonna go ahead and double check. And we can see we don't have any power. Now that we know there's no power at our outlet, we'll go ahead and get started. First thing, we've got to remove the cover. Now that we've got our cover off, let's go ahead and remove this outlet. Now when we talk about a 50 amp outlet versus a 30, there's the difference. You've got the vertical, spades on a 50 at the horizontal on a 30. The heater we're putting in has the 30 amp style plug. That's why we're doing this. So when we look at the back of the outlet, you've got a ground, we've got our black, and we've got our red. So once again, it doesn't matter how we hook these up on this setup. If we look at the back of our new plug, your green is gonna be your ground. And you've got a place for the red, a place for the black, just like we've got here. Now we just need to put our new outlet in. Once we get our three wires in place, we just got to put our outlet back on our box, put our cover back on. And when you're doing this, Make sure to watch those wires in the back. You don't want that ground wire bending around and touching one of those other wires or anything. Now we've got our outlet in, got our screws back on. Before I put my cover on, I'm gonna flip the breaker on, check power, make sure I don't have anything weird going on, make sure it works like it should. Should be able to, to go to each pin just like before. And there we see our 246. So we got our 240 there. We want to check our ground. There's our 120. So everything looks good. So we got that outlet and breaker swapped over. Got my heater running. Old outlet, old 50 amp breaker. Now these things are still good, so I'm gonna hold on to these in case I ever get rid of this. Eventually I'd like to do a mini split in here, get rid of this thing, put my 50 amp back in so I can run a welder, anything like that I need to. Now if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Drop down in the comments what you guys would like to see next, what kind of projects you have going on, and if you have any questions about swapping over a 240 outlet and a 240 breaker. See you guys next time.